Hi everyone, welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Press the red button to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified for my upcoming video. It's all free. Thank you. You never know God is all you need until God is all you have. Amen. Today I'm going to show you how to make chicken liver pattern with an orange glaze and here are the ingredients. Okay, in here I've got 500 grams of chicken liver and I've removed all the tissues and fats so it's clear liver and I've got four rashes of streaky bacon that I've chopped and I've got 60 grams of butter and here I've got quarter teaspoon of paprika and quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and here I've got half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of thyme, and that's fresh thyme that I've chopped, and half a teaspoon of rosemary, that's fresh rosemary, rosemary that I've chopped, and I've got a quarter teaspoon of uh, black pepper, coarse black pepper that I've freshly ground. In here I've got two cloves of garlic that I've chopped, one bay leaf, and two shallots I've got that I've chopped, and in here I've got two heaped a tablespoons of Philadelphia ch cheese, soft cheese, you can use any one and I've got the one that has chives in it and I've got a quarter cup of Cointreau or you could use brandy if you want and I've got 180 mils of heavy cream, you could use double cream if you want. Okay to begin with you put the butter in this frying pan or, or a small karai or a saucepan and as soon as the butter melts you put the onions And then a few seconds later, you put the bay leaf and the garlic. And now you let this all fry for three to four minutes and uh, let it switch and let the onions get soft, but don't let it get any color in it. Okay, the onions been frying for three to four minutes on a medium flame. Now I'm going to put the streaky bacon. Now this for people who do not eat bacon, this you can opt out of this and put the liver straight away. But this gives it a good flavor. So I'm adding the bacon now and you're going to fry the bacon for two to three minutes. Okay, once the bacon's done, you need to add the liver, chicken liver. And also add the salt and the pepper and the herbs, the rosemary and the thyme. And now you stir this and now the liver has to fry in the in the shallot and the bacon for five to six minutes on a medium flame okay so my liver has been cooking from five to six minutes on a medium heat and now I'm going to add the nutmeg and the paprika And then I'm going to add the cream cheese. I'm going to put the gas on medium now. And then I'm going to add the, the double cream. Sure the gas is right down now. Mix that in. And then we're going to add the Cointreau or the brandy, whichever one you're using. Okay, now I'm raising the gas a little bit. Make it start bubbling. As soon as it starts bubbling, then we put the gas down again and then let this simmer and let it bubble away on a very low heat for three minutes. Okay, the liver has been cooking in this lovely creamy sauce. Now we're going to put the gas off and now let this cool down before we put it in the blender. Okay, once the liver has cooled down slightly, we need to put it in the uh, either in the blender or in the mixie 
and then you just need to make it into a very fine smooth paste okay you can see all my pate I put it in the mixie and it's nice and smooth so you just empty it into a, any container and then level it all out smooth it all out and that's your lovely pattern nearly done it's not finished yet because we need to do the glaze but now this goes into the fridge Take a cling film and make sure the cling film touches the pate. So press it down with your finger so it'll keep it nice and smooth. And now keep this in the fridge for at least half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay, while the pate is cooling in the fridge, I'll give you the ingredients for the orange glaze. And now in here I've got 130 ml of wine, any white wine you can use. And I've got a small orange and segments of it, the juicy sweet oranges. And I've got half a teaspoon of orange zest and I've got a few shreds of rosemary, fresh rosemary. And here I've got one teaspoon of honey and one teaspoon of sugar. And in here I've got one teaspoon of dry gelatin powder and I've got one tablespoon of water. Okay, we're going to make mix this water into this gelatin powder and then I'm going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds and keep that aside. Okay, after blasting the gelatin in the microwave, I've put the 130 ml of wine in a saucepan. So I'm just waiting for it to get warm. And then I'm going to add to it the honey and the sugar. This makes a lovely glaze. And I'll stir that until the honey and the sugar is melted. And then I'm going to add the rosemary and the zest of the orange. waiting for it to start bubbling okay you can see the wine starting to bubble now so I'm going to put the oranges in there and lower the heat now and then you're going to add the, the gelatin mix and give it a stir this is very easy and simple to make oranges are already soft so you don't have to cook it much and just Give it a minute or so and then you put the gas off. Okay, my orange glaze is ready and my pate is cooled in the fridge, has finished its cooling time, so I'm going to remove that. And uh, I, I did take out the bay leaves before I blended the pate, so make sure you take off that one bay leaf that we put while we were cooking it. So now you're going to just decorate this, like put the orange segments in a nice pattern. This will be absolutely delicious for our festive season. Okay, that's it. And now you just pour all this gelatin and wine glaze onto the pate. That's it. And now put the cling film back on it. And now this goes into the fridge to set for two hours. So I'll see you after two hours. Okay, uh, this is our chicken liver pate ready. It's been setting in the fridge 
for two hours and you can see when you move it around the jelly doesn't move I mean so it's properly set now so now this is ready to uh, be eaten now all you have to do is before it goes onto the table you can because it's for Christmas so you can just decorate it with some holly and stuff and you can put some cherries in the middle and doesn't that look beautiful and this can go onto your Christmas table. Now this chicken liver pate freezes very well so if you want to make it quite in advance before Christmas you can do so and take it out the night before when you're ready to serve it and this goes very well as a Christmas day starter or you can uh, have it as a Christmas tea or uh, for supper so don't forget to write on the comments what you think about it and to subscribe to my channel and I shall see you next time with some more delicious cooking. But until then, may God go with you and give you his peace.